ADP training, Monday, Easter holiday. Today we're gonna to smash back. Tomorrow's leg day. Don't say anything for the tank. You don't need to use your legs now. Maybe a little. Let's smash it. I'm gonna go through all the exercises, give you the teaching points, because you weren't here today to do the Zoom class. Make sure you kick that butt. Build those lats, come on. So, for our first exercise, what we're gonna be doing is bent over rows. If you've got dumbbells, we use dumbbells. If you've got a barbell, that's cool too. Um, if not, we're going to use plastic bags and put some weights in, freestyle, get whatever we can done. We're going to start off with 20 reps of a normal row. So we're going to be getting our back into a nice position. From here, we're going to stick the butt back, keep the chest up, shoulder blades pinched back, activating the lats and the rear deltoids. Keep the feet nice and straight, squeeze those abs to take the pressure off the back. From there, we're going to do a circular motion into the hip, squeeze it, driving them elbows up as high as we can, keeping those shoulder blades pinched all the way through. Five. Six, seven, trying to avoid going like this, shoving your neck up. Nine, not naming any names. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, keep the arc in motion. Five, pull the row for a reason. Three, two, one. What we're going to do then is switch to a gate row, named after Mr. Dorian from Birmingham himself. From there, we're going to pull it in at the same angle, so your palms facing forwards, and bam, one. Two, three, you should feel that pull your traps back together. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, draw those elbows right up. Eight, keep the shoulder blades back and chest up. Six, five, four, three, two, and squeeze. Excellent, weight down. That's your first set. We're going to be doing that four times. So for our next exercise, what we're going to be doing is deadlifts and sumo deadlifts. For the deadlifts, imagine you're in a health and safety video at work. What we're going to be doing is keeping the feet shoulder width apart, driving the knees out. We're going to stick the butt back, keeping the shoulder blades back. Lower the weight down to the floor, keeping them shoulder blades back. And then once you're parallel to the floor, we're going to drive up, squeeze into the lower back. When we're doing it, it's imperative that we get the squeeze right here. As we're here, keep your hips still, drive those shoulder blades up and engage those spinal erectors. Bam, squeeze it toe the top. We're going to do 20 of those, and then we're going to switch into a sumo. We're going to be coming down like this and driving up. So exactly the same motion, but at a different angle of your feet. If you've got a bar that will work if it's better, or if you've got two bags, you can do that separately. So we're going to be in for 20. One, two, three. Four, keep that back engaged all the way. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. If you can feel it here on one side more than the other, manipulate your hips to try and even them out. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Then we're going to adopt a sumo position. So nice and wide. As you can see, lean it right down, lean over it, however you prefer to hold them. Four, five, drive the hips back as we go now. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. The difference between this and the sumo squat, this could be a sumo squat. With the sumo deadlift, we're going to stick them hips back, engage that lower back. Seven left, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Easy. Again, four sets of piece, 20 of each part. So we're going to be doing 20 on the normal, 20 on the sumo, 40 reps of piece, four times. Boom. So, round three. What we're going to be doing is single arm rows into back flies. Using our weight, we're going to lean forward into something, keeping your feet in flat, a one foot back, one foot forward. Bending the knees, keeping the hips in line, it's very important. From there, again, we're going to hit the arcing motion. We're going to be doing 15 aside, keeping the shoulder blades back. As you can see, it engages my rear deltoid, and we're going to arc it back into the shot, into the hip, driving the elbow up as high as we can. Slightly bring the dumbbell forwards like this. We'll get an extra stretch on the way down, and then really force it up and squeeze, keeping that rear deltoid engaged all the time. There's 10, 11, 12. Keep the arcing motion. 13. 14, 15, we're going to switch over, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 more, 10, 
Really drive that elbow up. Nine, eight, seven, six. The heavier you can go, the better on these. Four, three, two, one. It's not essential, and that's why we've kept the weight up. So next one, we're going to do back flows. We're going to get you down into that bent over row position, and then go bringing that weight back into the hip. Not like this. It's not for the rear deltoid. Sending it back, squeezing that lap to the top. We're going to do 20 of these. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, five, four. Squeeze at the top. Three, two. Keep that back flat. Two, one. Excellent, and down. Again, four times. We're going to be doing 15 on the single arm rows, part arm, and then 20 on the back flow. So guys, round four, last round. We're going to have one challenge just to finish it off. What we're going to need this time is using a pole, broomstick, bar, whatever you've got to use. Put your weights here the side. If you can fit the plates on there, cool. If not, let's get a bag here the side with the same weight here the side. We can use that. We're going to start off with shrugs and high pulls. Shrug second, bottom left. Right, so, hands up, we're going to get them as wide as we can, we're going to drive up on our toes to add some momentum into it, and force the bar up to our chest with it, we want to end up in this position at the top, not here, not here, completely wrong, up here, as if you're putting a big pair of trousers up, you're going to force it up to about equal height, as if you were going to try and drive it through and hit yourself in the face, drive it up on the toes at the same time, and one, two, really force it, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Keep the wrist down, so your shoulder blades contracted. We're in for 20. Really use momentum. Three, two, one. You're going to bring into a narrow grip. From here, I'm going to go on my knees to show you the exercise. Keep your shoulders depressed, aka down. Terminology, as far as you can. We're going to bring them up in one plane, not bringing them backwards and doing any of this crap. We're going to go straight up, straight down, squeeze at the top, try and touch your ears with your shoulders. Five, six, seven, good. Eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, nine. The more weight you can use, the better. Make sure you're really squeezing at the top. Six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Again, we're going to be doing that for four sets, 20 a piece. That's the last part of back. Now, just the challenge. So, for today's challenge, you can use plates, you can use weights. If you've got a bar, fantastic. You can use the same principle you used on the last one. You can put shopping bags on the end of a broomstick, bowl, whatever it is that you've got. What we're going to do is a killer set of bicep curls. Holding it at the bottom, we're going to make sure that it's fully stretched out. See that quite engaged into the elbow, keeping that grip tight all the way through. If you do this, you're cheating. Yeah, hold it all the time so we can keep it engaged. Just to there, if you come up here, you're also cheating. We want to hold it there and keep that peak contraction. Look how tight it pumps up. We're going to lower it all the way down, keeping the pressure on, and drive. We're going to do as many as you can do. In the Zoom session, we just did 66 with a six second squeeze and a six second negative to finish it off. What you got? Nice and controlled, really tight squeeze at the top. Boom, come on. Let's close on the thing, how many you can get, see how everyone does. So that's our back session for today. Tomorrow, legs.